Despite lots of excitement for the first game inside a fully renovated Holt Arena Saturday, Northern Iowa was just too much for Idaho State, winning 41 to 17 to spoil the Bengals' home opener. Here come the Bengals taking the field for the first time in a fully renovated Holt Arena. Northern Iowa, though, came to play. After a trifecta of third down conversions on its opening drive, Theo Day finds Naren Bunton for a 29-yard gain. First and goal Panthers as the ball came out after he was down. Next play, Ty Edwards gets the handoff and reaches the end zone for the score. 7-0 UNI after he just crosses the plane of the goal line. ISU did move the ball offensively in this one, but turnovers and missed opportunities hurt the Bengals. Case in point, Shaden James coughs this ball up, and Northern Iowa's Corey Thomas Jr. recovers the fumble. Panther ball. Two plays later, UNI cashes in. Day throws a strike to Sam Schnee, who catches that dime in stride and takes it 53 yards to the house. Touchdown, Northern Iowa, and the Panthers lead 14-0. The Bengals' only points in the first half came from the leg of Thomas Kopcho. A 49-yard boot right down the middle cuts the deficit to 11. But after a pair of Panther field goals in the second made it 20-3, Day connects with Schnee to put an exclamation point on a 27-3 first half. Schnee had a career day with seven catches for 174 yards and two touchdowns, while Day threw for 388 yards. And Northern Iowa spoils Idaho State's home opener with a 41-17 victory. Here's ISU head coach Cody Hawkins. I appreciate all the fans coming out to, to the game. Obviously playing the first game in Holt Arena was really exciting, and it was great to see a lot of people out there uh, enjoying the new digs. Uh, I wish we could have put a better product on the field, but... Super proud of the kids. They were competing. Uh, we, we just didn't make enough plays to win. And whether it's situational football, I mean, you, you can tell. Like, we, we didn't deserve to win that football game. It wasn't for a, it wasn't for a lack of effort, but uh, there's a mathematical formula that goes into winning football games, whether it's turnovers or third downs or field position. And we were over in, the, in those categories. So uh, proud of our kids. I told them in the locker room, I mean, experience is currency, and we got to continue to stack days and learn from those mistakes. And, you know, you aren't gonna you aren't gonna beat anybody if you turn it over and don't get any turnovers. It's just how football goes. I thought we played well at times. We need to be more consistent. I think especially when we get to the critical downs, like third down. Uh, you know, some of them we won, some of them we lost. I think we got to be more consistent. We got to get on the side of winning those third downs and getting off the field. But overall, I think you know we played well. We showed some bright spots. We got a lot of stuff to improve on, and that's the exciting part about it being early in the season. We had bright spots. Uh, you could see we do good in certain things. I mean, we move the ball well. Once we get into the 20 yards kind of gets a little iffy and then for us it's just converting on third down as well um, and just getting in the end zone. I think we got to find a way and I think we will. It's early in the season like Josh was saying. Now the big games begin for the Bengals next week as Idaho State will battle Northern Colorado in its Big Sky Conference opener right back here on home turf. Reporting from Holt Arena in Pocatello, I'm Sports Director Eric Moon.